XRP, we start with one of our chart. Okay, I wanna give a quick update uh, regarding my last video because when the price was here, we mentioned maybe whether we can buy or not. First of all, there is no more changes in compared to my last video. The only thing is we got this move. That's why traders, they can re still they can refer to my last video for the analysis, then at least they know what we are talking and how we analyze the chart because we mentioned whether this is the only correction or we can expect a bigger correction. Okay, now, uh, the only thing is, because when the price was here, if we, we mentioned that if this one become deeper correction, we can buy, by the way, anyone bought within this small correction, at least I mean the only way they could buy having a trip of this, they should know this is not moving. At least they should uh, make a decision whether they wanna keep the trade or not, I mean, they should know how to manage it in case the price, this one move for the bigger correction. Okay, and beside that, uh, I need to mention that on 22nd, we will have the news for the XRP. That's why anyone is trading or even they wanna buy for the long term, they should be aware of that. Okay, we hope the, I mean, the repair, they can win the case, but if anything's, I mean, they cannot win it, then the price, I think they, it can drop really sharp. Okay, by the way, the only things I wanna mention, anyone is trading or even they buy for the long term, it depends on them. They should be aware of, uh, aware of this. Okay, now the things is whether we can buy for from this correction or not. The only things is we need to mention, where is it? Is it in the middle of the correction? Even you get any buy within this one, the top is here. You need to know whether in terms of the risk and reward. Okay, because in my last video we mentioned, if this is the only correction, and this is the start of the up move is good. Okay, we can rely on this, but we need to know maybe the price can take, then we will have the bigger correction for one more drop. Okay, now, whether we have the, any of the, this is the only correction or we're looking for the bigger correction. I think this one, if become a deeper more, I mean deeper correction, then we can get the better opportunity to buy rather than no, because if we move to 15 minutes, we don't see any opportunity to buy. And the only way is to have entry above this, which is not really good idea because this is the risk, I mean the reward and this is the risk, okay? I mean, what we are talking about this top because we are not sure whether this one can break or not. That's why if we get one more down, we get the, this one, at least we have a three wave internally, then we can look for buy, okay? Now the question is whether this one is, can be a running flat or not. Okay, anyway, we don't have any trade setup here. The best thing is the, the price to drop before we get the next move. I'm mean, having a trade of this, I just leave it for the traders. And uh, if I move to one hour chart, as I see, and again, those traders that are within this trade, they should know what to do. Okay, and if you move to four hour chart, what I want to mention here that we are really still within this correction and how complicated this one can be for one move down or the continuation, all it depends on the price move here to the top. And beside that, we're getting the news, okay? No, we cannot confirm the direction because of the news, but we should be aware that if they cannot win, what we have here, sorry, what we have here may can repeat again, okay? That's why anyone wants to take the trade, they should be aware of that. And one more thing I need to highlight here. Okay, whatever we mention about buying here with the buy setup or anything else, is not only for the trading, even though for those people they wanna buy for a long term. Because when the price was here within this move, I mentioned this one can go to the 60 and we see it move to 64, then drop, drop to 50. Okay, even those people they want, those um, they wanna invest as a long term, I think buying here was not good for them. If they buy at this level can give them better. I mean, the, I mean the, the reward will be more than if they buy here. And even we don't know how deep it, it move. Okay, that's why what I want to mention here that the reason I'm putting all these analyzers and I, every time I mention what, where to manage it and how to manage it and where to buy, if it's not moving, we should take out the trade because every time we want to get the better opportunity. Okay, that's why uh, it dip again, I leave it for the traders or those people they wanna invest. But by the way, we try to see where is the best to buy to, and where we can get more 
uh, it can give us more benefit, I mean the reward, okay? That's why, again, if anyone bought from here, even they want to keep for long term, why they don't want to buy it here, okay? The difference is almost from 60 to 50, 10 cents is a different, okay? Anyway, what I, what I want to mention here, or I try to give the analysis that we can buy at the lower price, even for those trade, those people, they want to keep for the long term. Then it depends on them whether they want to follow or not. Okay. Just I give my view, whether they want to follow, I mean, my view or not, I just leave it for them. All right. Anyway, again, if anyone is trading or even they want to buy for long term, they should be aware of the news. And we just follow the chart. If I see any changes, then I will share. Thanks.